Throughout the history of film, few works have attempted to create a logically possible and realistic portrayal of a time travel narrative. Chris Marker's La Jete is a film which derives its cinematic power from the logic it contains regarding the scientific possibility of time travel. Before we can dissect the film's time travel logic, it is important to outline the core narrative of La Jete. Set in a post-apocalyptic future, Marker's 28-minute masterpiece is told almost entirely in still frames, telling the story of a mysterious man whose vivid childhood recollections make him the ideal guinea pig for an experiment in time travel. After a lengthy and nightmarish period of conditioning, he is sent into the past, where he falls in love with a woman whom he once saw on a pier. At the film's conclusion, the man is visited by an advanced race, who give him the opportunity to journey into the future, but he instead requests to be sent permanently into the past, where he can remain with the woman of his dreams. A key question a film must ask when exploring the logical possibility of time travel is what kind of time travel it wants to showcase, inconsistent or consistent. Legete features and demonstrates a coherent time travel narrative that falls into the category of the consistent. For a time travel narrative to be consistent, it must never rewrite the past. La Jete, for instance, tells a tale of a man who, as a boy, sees himself die. Now, if the boy knew that this man was indeed an adult version of himself, could he have prevented his own death? The short answer is no. The man was unable to prevent his own death, because he never did. To comprehend this point further, we must look at the nature of time itself. Philosopher J.M.E. McTaggart proposes that the events of time can be categorized into two concepts, these being an A series and a B series. In the A series, time and its events are arranged either in the past, present, or future. Events that occur will eventually become the past and only the present ever exists. This is known as presentism. In comparison, the B series orders and differentiates time in an epistemological fashion. The past, present, and future all exist and are all determined. This is called four-dimensionalism. Time travel is illogical in presentism, because how can you travel to the future or the past if they simply do not exist? Therefore, for time travel to be logically possible, we must view time itself by a four-dimensionalist perspective. If we apply four-dimensionalism to La Jete, we suddenly realize that all the events that the man commits in the film must be predetermined. When the boy sees the man get killed at the airport, he does not know that it was himself, for it was always destined that the man would die on that day. However, this does not solve the issue of the man being in two places at once. Is this logically possible? Well, yes, because not only was this day at the airport always meant to happen, it can't be any different. To put it simply, you cannot change the past, because you never did. La Jete is a consistent, and thus a logically possible time travel narrative. The world of La Jete is coherent and doesn't break the established rules of time. However, this cannot be said for the majority of time travel films, which clearly are inconsistent. An example of this is Back to the Future. Back to the Future is a film that allows for the grandfather paradox, which states that if one was to go back in time and kill their grandfather, then it would prevent their own birth. And if you weren't born, then you wouldn't have been able to kill your grandfather. So essentially, if you were to go back in time and change your own past, it will radically change your future. In Back to the Future, Marty unintentionally prevents his parents from ever meeting and falling in love. He has to then bring them back together, because if he doesn't, they would never have kids and therefore Marty himself would never have been born, meaning he would never been able to go back in time in the first place, thus creating a paradox. In this kind of time travel narrative, you can seemingly change the past, but as we clarified earlier, this is not logically possible. Time travel is made possible by the reasoning that we can never rewrite the past. This is something that can be seen in Legite, which follows the constant rational demonstration of time travel. So when weighing up the different kinds of time travel narratives in film, it can be determined that the concept can be split into a clear, consistent and inconsistent clarification. This clarification refers to the logical possibility of time travel that is presented in film. Unlike Back to the Future and the majority of other time travel films, Chris Marker's La Jete features a time travel narrative that is coherent and one that is seemingly and rationally possible. 
This is based on the foundations that were set when discussing the nature of time and the relationship it shares with a logical possibility of time travel itself. Les parents mènent leurs enfants voir les avions en partance. De ce dimanche, l'enfant dont nous racontons l'histoire devait revoir longtemps le soleil fixe, le décor planté au bout de la jetée et un visage de femme. 